One of the most troublesome aspects of human nature is the fact that we always divide the world into us versus them. Pretty much every conflict we've seen over human history involves some group demarcated along some line, be it race, ethnicity, country, and so on. Psychologists have really wanted to get to the bottom of how we make these kinds of distinctions. You know, where do these different distinctions come from, and how can we get people to stop doing them? So we decided to study the origins of human grouping by studying non-human primates. The species that we studied was rhesus macaques. Rhesus macaques are an old world monkey species that diverged from humans 25 to 30 million years ago. They're a good test case for us to study because they naturally form their own social groups and because their groups are flexible. The monkeys that we studied were a population on the island of Cayo Santiago off the coast of Puerto Rico. Cayo Santiago is home to approximately 1,000 monkeys that free range around the island. These monkeys also naturally form social groups. So when we ran these studies, we found monkeys who were hanging out on the island by themselves. We set up our stage in front of them. Our stage consisted of a platform with two screens on either end, and the screens covered up photos of other monkeys, one of whom was an in-group member and one of whom was an out-group member. The experimenter lifted the screens to reveal both faces and monkeys were allowed to freely watch them. What we were looking at was which face monkeys were more worried about and which one they stared longer at. What we found was that monkeys reliably seemed to look longer at the outgroup face, suggesting that they were more worried or more scared of that one. What this shows us is that the capacity to distinguish between members of different groups is not unique to humans. 